Hey YouTube and Sendar here. Today I want to cover the Guru 20 recipe. Um, what this comes down to is a while ago I tried to uh, spam cooking as much as I could to see how far I could take it. I ended up getting uh, Guru 20. I'm going to do a couple different videos about that. Uh, this recipe today isn't going to be about profit at all actually. It's going to be about um, just a recipe with two criteria that we want to look for when spamming for nothing more than XP and of course CP. I also managed to get uh, 364 CP after doing this Guru 20 and that's been great. Um, but if you're looking just to level your cooking and you know get the metal or whatever, you want a recipe that gives the most XP. On a lot of streams and whenever I was asked, I said honey wine. Well, actually I would say do essence first, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands. Then do hundreds of thousands of honey wine. I actually streamed buying all the honey and doing honey wine for the longest time. Um, eventually, when I got around the upper masters and lower uh, guru, it became pretty clear that it was going to take a ridiculous amount of time to hit Guru 20 doing honey wine. So I actually uh, switched up the recipe. Now, anyone that's familiar with uh, the Incendar.com site, uh, the default sorting of the recipes is by the amount of XP they give. So you can see here, um, Serendia meal, a pretty, yeah, that's pretty well known as a really high end recipe that gives a lot of experience. But if you notice something interesting, there is recipes beyond it that are more XP and extremely simple to get the materials. So let me just run over here. The recipe I actually used uh, for the last uh, 20 or so levels, well, the last 20 levels, was coconut cocktail. And I'll give a couple reasons for this. Uh, the first is it's using coconuts. Coconuts are pretty easy to accumulate. Picking up this node over here, the palm force, there's two nodes that give coconuts. And you can run workers from either here or here. And just these nodes are great anyway from a silver perspective. Uh, the coconuts are really just the icing on the cake. These nodes are really easy to get to and get some workers to. That's the first thing you'd want to do. Uh, the great thing is when I started this, uh, coconuts were just being spammed on the marketplace and no one really cared about them. Um, somewhere near my end of the guru, though, there was a rumor that coconuts were used in a, a boat recipe or something. And it became extremely hard to get them. Um, for, to make this video today, I actually bought some coconuts just because I didn't feel like running to Valencia to pick some up. And it was pretty easy to get them. Um, you'll have the choice. I would suggest getting those nodes as soon as possible. And then uh, the marketplace. Obviously, if a lot of people are doing this, it's, it's going to be a little harder to get the amount of coconuts you need, which is ridiculous. Uh, the second ingredient, essence of liqueur. Then we've got uh, mineral water from NBC. The essence of liqueur, I mean, most people should be making tons of that anyway to start out. That's that's a good thing to start out with on your cooking. I've always said to you know hold on to these, only sell them if you have to. Um, it's great in honey wine, of course, too. The fruit, strawberry, uh, just click NBC. Uh, search fruit vendor. You'll find the fruit vendor in Calfion. And of course, uh, exotic herbal wine. A couple of people picked up on this in the streams. They're like, why are you buying all the exotic herbal wine? This stuff is, uh, what, 300 silvers on the marketplace or something. I mean, you might even have a spam load of this somewhere, too. This is really easy to get. You can either use the green or the blue one. And so what we have here, all the ingredients are relatively easy to get. But the most important thing, this gives tons of XP while you're cooking. And of course, um, in the process of power leveling your cooking level, if you if you actually want to go to Guru 20, you're going to get a ton of CP, which is, uh, as everybody knows, tons, tons of uh, passive silver. Uh, as you get over 350 CP, there's huge diminishing returns. I think it's like 10,000 turn-ins each or something. Now, the results I'm getting uh, from this coconut, I don't know who actually buys these. Um, auto fishing time reduction. It might be fishing bots or fishers. I don't really know. You can actually sell this, uh, the blue proc off this on the marketplace. I sold tons of them. I sold all the blue ones on the marketplace. The problem, green ones were really slow and I had an issue with. Um, you can vendor both. You can see the vendor price here is 800 and the vendor price here is 532. 
you can actually vendor these, the, the blue and the green. And uh, it, you're not going to be making tons of silver doing this, but it's not going to be a huge hole either. I'll get into another video about uh, the utensils, which is the other big part of that. But um, this recipe is just great. It'll get your XP. But it's at least I want to say it's twice as much as honey wine, so you can really bump up that cooking level fast. Get the CP and uh, ingredients all easy to get, and um, you can definitely sell these. Even if you vendor them, you're looking at like break even or maybe a little profit. Hopefully this helps everybody out. Good luck on uh, anyone going for the Guru 20. Again, this recipe isn't really for profit or to get ahead in that way. But if you want to have something where you can max out your CP and maybe get your cooking level really high quickly, coconut cocktail is the way to go. Click subscribe to get notifications of new videos. Visit incendar.com. I put all the tools I use in game there. You can leave a comment or question or video suggestion. I do read them all and try to respond. Twitch and Discord links are below. Discord has links to all the other BDO discords as well. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.